Alrighty guys, Luke here again from Australian Off-Road. Uh, we're now going to take a look at the awning. So the awning is a wind-out awning, so nice and easy to use. Uh, one thing to highlight with this is that you can use this awning with the roof up or the roof down, it doesn't matter. So first thing I'll do is I'll find our winder handle, which is normally stored in your tunnel boot, being that it's the longest compartment to house this. You can adjust the length of this if you need it a bit longer or a bit shorter. So I've got mine set at the minute ready to go. So what we do is we lock this into the keyway, which is on the front side of the awning, which is, allows us to bring this out. And then if I start to wind this anti-clockwise, it'll start to bring it out for us. Now, depending on your conditions, obviously where we are at the minute outside the showroom, it's not very windy. So if we were to wind this out, you've got to take into account if it is windy, you are going to get a bit of flex in this as it does come out. So it's always good to try and get the legs down as soon as possible. Uh, me being a little bit height restricted, I tend to get it to a point where I can actually reach the legs first. So I'll wind this out roughly a meter. I'll disengage the winder just so it's not hanging. And then what we do is the two legs are actually locked into the inner channel of this, which are actually spring loaded. So if we press on the foot of that, it'll actually release it down. So that'll allow us to bring this side down then. Now the clip on the side will allow you to lock this leg in position for height. So what I tend to do is I sit the leg on a bit of a forward angle, being that we're obviously going to wind the awning further out and this will start to bring this somewhere near straight. And then I'll lock that height in just so it's not moving on me. Now Daryl, the cameraman's kindly done the other side for me, which is good. So once we've got this leg out, we can then start winding again. This'll, these legs will just help support it for if it is slightly windy. So we'll keep this wind in. We can move each leg forward as we go, one step at a time. Now this little awning will stand out just over two meters, so it is quite a big awning. What you'll find with the awning is when you're winding this out, these inner brace legs will get to a point where once they start to go past just parallel, I'd say, the awning actually starts to come back down and drape in the middle, which is what we don't want. We want to keep it at a nice tension point, which is going to be somewhere around that point there. So that's kind of at its finished position as far out as it can go. From here, then we then set as legs up to the height that we require them to be. So we bring the little locking tab down, which allows us to maneuver the height. Once we've got it to where we want it, we then lock this over. So this flicks all the way to the top. Now when these are new, this does feel quite tight. So you're gonna feel like you're doing some damage, but you're not. You just gotta give it a bit of a forceful tug and it'll just nicely lock over from there. With this awning, just another thing to outline, obviously if you've got your legs standing like so, we would advise that you peg the feet where you've got your little holes in and you can actually get a guy rope around the tumbler just to give it that extra support. But one thing you can also do is you can actually bring the legs and put them back onto the trailer. So if you see, we've got two white clips, one behind the door and one at the front. If we pop the outer shell of this up, it'll allow us to lock the foot into here and then we can bring this back down to lock over the top of it. Again, you can adjust your heights if you need to once you've got it engaged on there but being that it's locked on here it just means that you're not having to peg it down um, ideal for quick stops if you don't want to be getting guy ropes out and pegs and things like that that just keeps it anchored back to the trailer so it gives it a bit more rigidity um, so it works really well nice and easy very convenient and um, to pack this back away similar scenario we'll just wind it back in you get it to a point where you can bring your legs back on make sure they lock back on obviously the spring locking tab locks back into position and then you'll just wind it all the way home so i'll give you a quick run through just to show you how easy that is So opposite to what we did last time, we'll now face the legs in slightly as we start to wind it back in. So just walking them legs back with you as you go. Getting it roughly to that meter point again where we had it when we first stopped. And then we can actually lock these legs over, slide them back in. 
and then these now will lock back into position. So once we've got it in, we push the leg down, which will then lock it back on. Once that's in position, we just need to wind it all the way home then. So as you can see, very easy to use, very quick for, for nice, quick, easy setup pack ups. And just make sure that's all the way home before you bring this back out. So it really is as easy as that guys. And hopefully that gives you a good idea of what to do.